Um, how do you determine what properties can cash flow positive? This is a really cool topic. I'm a bit loony toony and I'm not like that research oriented, but what I try to stick with is the 10% rule. And a lot of people are gonna start howling. How could you get the 10% rule in today's day and age? You gotta go out of town. I've been living in New York City for the last 12 years, 11 years. There has never been a moment in time other than that Brooklyn condo that I started off with, which was kind of a fluke. I just got extreme, right place, right time, noticed it. I, even on that property, I was making zero. Break even, complete break, break even on rental cash flow. Once you account for taxes and you account for HOA fees, you account for the mortgage itself. In a lot of tier one cities, SF, New York, even Atlanta, heck, all these cities are coming, they're on the come up, Nashville, um, Arizona, forget it. Y'all are way too expensive now. These cities are going nuts 